Today we're in Leadville, Colorado, and we're heading up to Ski Cooper. So Leadville was the original capital of Colorado. It was the largest city. All the mining was here. All right, here we are, Cooper. Five inches of new snow on the report. And it's one of those places you can park right up front. Aw, uh, yeah. Got that prime parking. Don't think I could have got any closer than this. Woo! Plenty of fresh powder to still be had here at 11.30 a.m. It's powder time. All right, made it over to Buckley Palma. This mountain's got all, all old lifts, T-bars, bladder poles, doubles. Come over here and get some more pow before heading over to the back.
gonna head this way now to end up Piney Basin and the Piney Basin Triple Chair. Let's see, we can find some good pal here. All right, we're gonna head up here, find some more pow, and drop into the uh, Tennessee Creek Basin where the Little Horse T-Bar is, the new terrain. We're gonna head over to Tennessee Creek Basin. New terrain for Cooper on this side of the mountain. Just opened up last season. They got a bunch of double black terrain. We're gonna go check it out. I think we'll try a Viper to start with. The one, whatever one's right under the T-bar. Get a feel for the zone. Only one way out from the bottom, and that's the T-bar. New England trail in here, the name of the game. <laughs> ha -ha. 
Ah, oh, they sure opened some cool stuff up over here. Before Cooper was mostly an intermediate beginner mountain, but with this new T-bar and new shoots and glades, really, really helps Cooper out. And makes me want to ski it more.
like in this new expansion. It's like a powder skier's paradise out here, boy. Whoo! Whoa.
Bumpus rumpus. Whoa! Oh yeah!
great first day at Ski Cooper. I was actually quite impressed with this little area. I uh, love the new expert terrain they opened up last season and it, it was it was way better than I thought it would be. And it's also one of those ski areas I like where you, you park right up front and you're only a couple yards from the chairlift. And uh, before I head out, I don't think the day would be complete without uh, stopping over by the 10th Mountain Division uh, Memorial here and checking that out. This was where the 10th Mountain Division originally trained back in the 1940s for World War II. It's why Cooper Hill is here in the first place. It's the fifth oldest ski area in Colorado. Alrighty. Well, I figured my day at Ski Cooper wouldn't be complete without coming up here and checking out the 10th Mountain Division Memorial. In memory of our 990 com comrades in arms who gave up their lives in the World War II battlefields of Italy and the Aleutian Islands. This is cool. I had no idea this was up here. Liberation of, of Norway, May 1945. Pretty neat. This is where this is where skiing blew up. Before it was for fun. These guys learned how to do it. Fight for our country in World War II. It was a great day up there, and I will for sure be back.